For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion. Amazon Prime Video's Modern Love is one of my favorite shows. The two seasons of the American series created by John Carney offer fictional retellings of real love stories about real people, found in the popular New York Times Modern Love column and subsequent podcast of the same name. The official Indian adaptation, Modern Love Mumbai, opens with a similar disclaimer, which says that these six Mumbai-based stories are also inspired by essays from the New York Times column, which is an immediately off-putting thought. Why are we adapting those stories in a country bursting with so many of our own? Thankfully, these six chapters don't feel like forced translations of foreign experiences. These adaptations feel like homegrown fables of love that belong to us, brought to life by a bloody exciting roster of filmmakers. Modern Love Mumbai is, for me, a triumph of heart and connection. A mixed bag, of course, but a deeply rewarding one where even the least enticing and endearing episodes offer much to admire in their spirit and ambitions. What I'm grateful for with these installments is that they aren't just conventional hollow fairy tale romances and surface level meet cutes. These storytellers strive to go beyond the butterflies and be braver, go deeper and more specific to give us a more rewarding look at different shades of human relationships. The one chapter that did not come together for me was My Beautiful Wrinkles, written and directed by Alankrita Srivastava and led by a sincere Sarika, about an older woman's unlikely bond with a younger man. I liked that, like Buaji in Lipstick Under My Burka, this story too celebrates sexual desire in older women. But it's an uneven, unconvincing story, partly because between the writing you can see through and Danish Razvi's bland performance, we don't really feel for the unconventional equation that these two share in what ends up feeling like the Sid Tara story from Dil Chata Hai, except told from Tara's perspective. And if Sid wasn't as complex and sensitive as he was dull, uninteresting and kind of strange. Nupurastana segment titled Cutting Chai throws multiple narrative devices at the wall in its take on a jaded married couple trying to rekindle their spark. It's the token, breezy, easy to digest, comfortable modern love episode that doesn't aspire to the depth or layers of its sibling stories, but it's sweet nonetheless, uplifted by an endlessly huggable Arshad Varsi. Elsewhere, Shunali Bose's Rath Rani about a Kashmiri woman who's abruptly deserted by her husband isn't always the most engaging, but it offers one of the year's most lovable characters in Lali, played by an enchanting Fatima Sana Sheikh, as the devoted wife who finds emancipation and freedom in abandonment. A touching tale that asks, is there a love story that matters more than the one you share with yourself? Then there are the three standout stories, which for me are right up there in the modern love hall of fields, alongside the Guzmin and Dev Patel and Anne Hathaway episodes. In Hansal Mehta's Bai and Vishal Bhardwaj's Mumbai Dragon, the romantic love, though heartfelt, is almost incidental. Love is merely an inroad to tell a larger, more hopeful story about family and society, their tragic limitations and shortcomings, but also their ability to change, grow and evolve. The triumph that is Mumbai Dragon sees Vishal Bhadwaj at his most playful, serving up a deliciously layered clash of culture story within an energetic, entertaining rom-com. When was the last time we saw a meddling mother story told from the mother's perspective? Here, the mother is Sui, a Chinese immigrant played by a delightful Malaysian actor, Yeo Yan Yan. Sui is struggling to come to terms with the fact that her son Ming, played by Meng Chang, has an Indian girlfriend, who she fears will erase her son's Chineseness. Vishal and his co-writer Jyotsna Hariharan cleverly use mouth-watering food as one hell of a versatile metaphor. Food is a currency of culture, of course, but also a language of love and a means of control, seen through a mother marking her territory and smothering her son, leaving little room in the fridge of his life for outsiders. Thoughtfully conceived and brilliantly acted, over a mere 40 minutes, Vishal Bhardwaj somehow manages to pack in a touching mother-son story, cross-cultural romance and a societal prejudice story. The most important ingredient is love, so he says when cooking for her son. It's a thought that's also shared by Hansal Mehta's achingly beautiful story, Bai. Co-written by Ankur Patak, Bai follows Manzu, a gay man from a conservative Muslim household who's torn between his identity and his beloved grandmother, who he fears will never accept his truth. Bai is the bravest, most cinematic of modern love Mumbai's chapters, an exquisitely crafted, quietly devastating exploration of love, family and trauma that carefully straddles hope and heartbreak. As Manzu, a superb Pratik Gandhi shatters your heart as he navigates one man's silent struggle between the scars of his past and the joys and possibilities of his present. I just didn't want it to end. But nowhere did I feel the love more than I did in I Love Thane, the episode which marks the directorial debut of one of my favorite writers, Dhruv Segal. 
led by an endearing Masaba Gupta and Ritwik Pomik, both of whom you just want to protect from the world at all costs. I Love Thane follows Saiba, a 34-year-old landscape designer who meets Bath, the audit officer she's coordinating with on a new project. The two strike up an escalating situationship, a comfort that goes beyond co-workers, an intimacy that transcends mere friendship. Dhruv Segal and his Little Things co-writer Nupur Pai do what they do so well, crafting layered lived-in dialogue that's natural and yet bursting with subtext, all while adding those small flourishes, musings and dimensions, those little things that make characters into people. There are no grand meet-cutes bursting with charm or effortless rom-com banter here. It's just two people sharing a quiet chemistry and a comfortable conversation, love and connection that's aspirational because it feels real. In one scene, Saiba looks at Path and says, I judge myself less around you. I dare you to find me a line as romantic as that in recent memory. Amidst all my hooting, clapping, and smiling till my face hurt, Path and Saiba's story left me feeling elated and full, full of joy, hope, and possibility. To me, modern love, and now modern love Mumbai, remains so much more than a fuzzy, yet forgettable comfort watch that many deem it to be. I see it as an ongoing quest to try and understand humanity and what we mean to each other. As Saiba's best friend says to her during a phone conversation, maybe living life through love is the only way of experiencing it. Stories of human connection have never been as important as they are today. There's simply never been a more important time, I think, for modern love. And if you stop and even for a moment take a second to look around, I think you'll find that love actually is all around. You can watch Modern Love Mumbai on Amazon Prime Video.